where's what what identifies who in, in something like that? I mean, who's who really stands out more is always what I was impressed by. I think originality will always be the number one over people who copy. You know, and Kiss in their heyday when the, we were the biggest band in the world, no one looked like us, and no one dressed like us, and no one sounded like us. I find today uh, that everyone looks like everyone, and everyone sounds like everyone, and I think, as much as I love Kiss, I think they got caught up in the shuffle of heavy metal. And I don't want to ever do that mistake. I don't want to come out and look, uh, how can I say, like I'm wearing clothes that I shouldn't be wearing, man. Uh, or playing something that my fans kind of know I'm putting it on. I'm not really serious. I would never try to fool the public or fool my Kiss fans. I mean, they've always been so loyal to me that I wouldn't want to go up there and make, you know, like do the moves, man, but not coming from my heart. Mm-hmm. That's not what rock and roll is about. Uh, That's please. probably one of the reasons why I left Kiss. Uh, due to a musical indifference. I mean, I, went, I read an article somewhere. Gene didn't think Ace and I were musically competent of what they're doing and I always went hysterical because number one Ace has got to be one of the greatest guitar players on this earth and I know I'm one of the greatest drummers so when you read something like that it kind of makes you wonder man I mean I think Gene Simmons is an incredible probably one of the greatest oh, performers I've ever worked with but uh, he's got a lot to learn in the bass department and I probably got a bass player to show him that <laughs> But as a fan, I think Paul Stanley has come a long way. And now there's a guy who I've really seen come a long way. He's looking great. He's playing great. Uh, it looks like he's got a great attitude. So I'm very impressed with Paul. I would think, um, you know, personally as, as a fan here, um, that attitude-wise, you're, you're, you're getting Paul. You know, Gene's a lot better with the attitude than Paul is. Well, Only attitude is great. <clears throat> but he's a little bit saying that Ace and I, as musicians, are incapable of something that kind of bothers me. Yeah. Well, I meant as far as... Um, Whether you know it or not, before even you were around, we were KISS members. Yeah. We started that band. I mean, they wouldn't be where they are today if it really wasn't for Fraley and Chris. I believe that with all my heart, and I get lots of letters agreeing with me. Oh, I'm not disagreeing. A lot of people I know and say, man, whatever happened to that group? I don't know if you agree about that, but... Oh, I do. You know, I mean, the original band is what put them where they are today. You know. Oh man, if we were still together, we would probably be the biggest band in the world again. There would be no no heavy metal band even getting close to us if the four of us still existed as a band. I believe that too. I mean, we had something that we started. That band today are all copying, and I'm 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 really proud of that. The Kiss has made such a heavy mark in the music business and in in all businesses. You know. We were really the, the granddaddies of it all. Yeah, there was a rumor circulating that the original band were going to get back, that there was a possibility of the original band getting back together and playing a show. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't mind doing a show with them. I would play with them again. I mean, if it was a, a one or two kinds of deal, I'd love to get together with the guys. I still, I, I admire all of them very highly. I love Eric Carr. I think he's a great drummer. I think he's a nice guy. I like his attitude. I have not met the new guitarist. But uh, I'll always love Kiss. I'll always be a member of Kiss. I'll always be a fan of Kiss. You've met. But you see, with me, I'll be their strongest fan, and I'll give the, the heaviest comments about them because I was their drummer for many, many years. Mm-hmm. You know, and I look at my wall, and I got a lot of gold and platinum because of that band. And Beth was a big smash for me being in that group, so I can't knock it, you know? Yeah, you've met Vinnie Vincent, haven't you, since you recorded his song? Oh, Vinnie's, uh, Vinnie moved out here, by the way. Yeah, Vinny's a, if um, you ever talk to Vinny, if you ask him about it, we've spent, um, when Vinny first quit Kiss, I guess it was, um, well, actually, last February, I got to be good friends with him, and um, he gave me his home phone number, and we got to talking almost every day on the phone for months, and um, now I just did an interview with him last uh, January 25th, not last Saturday, Saturday before that, and um, uh, he's been just fantastic with us. Matter of fact, um, one of the things that we're doing with him is um, in Faces in June, they have a two-page spread on Vinny, and we're putting a yeah, we're going to put a full-page ad in there to congratulate him. I like him. He's, good. he's a great guitar player. He just got a good record deal. Oh, he does. Uh, <laughs> huh? Uh, I 
that he does with Chrysalis. You know, yeah, he's got a great deal. The, the yeah, mounting you know, game. I like, he wrote a song for me. I mean, he wrote Tears for me on my Let, Let Me Rock You album. Mm -hmm. And uh, then John Waite reads it. If I thought my version was better. <laughs> I think so, too. But I, I like Vinny's writing. I think he's a great writer, and I think he's a great guitar player. And I put him right up there. He's a, he's a top guy. And I'd like, you know, anything that you'd like for myself, I'd, I'd love to help you out, man. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, as far as um, uh, what Vinny thinks of the, the two different versions of Tears, the one that you did and the one that John Waite uh -huh. did, you know, I've asked him about that, and he does prefer yours. He oh, thinks, that's very nice. yeah, he thinks it's a lot closer to the way that he thought it should have sounded. And well, so do I. And so did Vinnie Pontia, who produced it. Mm -hmm. uh, we all felt it should be done as close as the way he wrote it, and, and I still do. I still agree with that. Well, who's producing your new album now with Jane? Your new band's called Jane, right? Yep. Okay, who's producing? Now we're called Jane. Yeah. Okay, well, who's going to produce this new album, or who is producing? I don't know, it? but we're looking. I wish my bass player was here. He has a list of producers he wants. But we're looking in the English department. You know, we want to get an English producer. Mm -hmm. Preferably maybe not an American. Because I just think sometimes English producers really got a grip on what, what's going down right now. I mean, they really, they just know, man. They just, they could get you in that studio and they just could do amazing things that I don't know. You know, I'm not knocking American producers. God knows, like, my closest friends are like Phil Ramone and Vinnie Ponzi and Bob Ezrin. But I worked with Eddie Kramer too, and, and I kind of lean to that. I think the English producers today are really doing really doing well. So we, we're going to shoot for that. Who's writing the material for the band now? Everybody. Everybody. Each one of us writes, uh, and it's good stuff, man. I I'd like to, uh, as soon as we come back out of the studio again, I'll, I'll send you a copy of, of what we're doing, and mm -hmm. I, and we're going in. Uh, let me see. I think next week or the week after, we're going to do a photo session with. Uh, the guy who shoots Van Halen, and I'll send you a picture of the new band. Oh, that'd be great. It'd be just in time to put it inside the newsletter. That was that's what I'm I'm trying to get done. Yeah. I think that would be very hip if I get your tape and a picture of us, and and you could do that. That would be sensational. We'd love it. Oh, I'd love it. Too. The first, you're the first interview I'm doing, and I know I have some coming up with Cream and Circus and the uh, Hip Parader, but this is the first one that we're really kind of letting it go out that that I'm in a new band and what what's happening with me. And I'm excited. Oh, I appreciate you I doing it. I gotta give it to you anyway, uh, Dave. Thank you. Yeah. Now, uh, one thing I do want to ask you is, um, do you have any drumsticks right now that have your name on it? Out of everybody in KISS, I have picks from Ace, everybody. Drumsticks from I, Eric. You're the only one I don't have, and it, it's killing me. <laughs> I'll send you a set. Okay, um... I got plenty. I just, I'm just working out a deal with Regal again to make me my new sticks, uh that I'm having made up. But I, I have plenty of, uh, I still have ones with Kiss on it, and I have ones with just my name. Mm -hmm. I'll send you two sets of both. Okay, where do I write to you to? Do I write to you in Carol? Ron Rainey's office. Okay, his name is Ron or Rob? Ron, R-O-N. Oh, okay, I was told Rob, okay. All right, um, getting back to you, um, your band. Um, how would you compare this new band to what you've done in the past with Out of Control and Let Me Rock You? Well, I, do you feel as though... It's it's far beyond what you've done. I mean, does it take yeah. it that much further? It's far beyond what I've done. It's I'm playing now much more. I'm playing more intricate. I'm probably playing at the peak that I've ever played drums. I mean, I'm doing things that I don't even know I'm doing, and then I'm told that they're so original and they're so done that no one's ever heard that type of drumming. I locked what I did is I locked myself in this house I bought. I I, I built a room. And I put a studio in it, and I locked, I almost locked myself in there for the last five months. I did not practically come out of there only but to eat. And so, man, I got into it. I got, like, into drumming. I want to even be on where you can go on drums. From, so I added from jazz to Latin jazz to rock and roll to heavy rock and roll into my style of drumming now. And this band covers every one of those areas. So I really get a chance, man. Plus, there's only a bass, guitar, and drums, or a trio and a singer and it's like it gives me more things to do and I like that because at this time I'm going to really show uh, my fans and other people that I'm a musician's musician I'm a drummer's drummer and it's like as much as I love to sing and write I love my drums man and I love playing them and this time I'm more I'm so close to being a one on one with them it, it's sexual <laughs> <laughs> you know it's really deep <laughs> like as the ocean <laughs> I don't know, I could, I could carry it away 
when I think about it, but I'm, I'm so into my instrument, it's, it's, it's very sexual. I well, think I love it more than I loved anything else in my whole life. I just like, I've been like a reborn drummer. <laughs> but it's exciting now, Dave. It's, I'm going through a lot of changes, but the music is, is just so good, I can't wait for you to hear it. That sounds great. I'll tell you what you said. Oh, I'm doing some chops. I got some licks. Uh, when Jim Chapin came down, he came down to hear my band. And I said, what do you think, man? He says, God, this man, uh, you're really putting in some incredible shit. I don't know what to, I mean, I'm doing like a, a breaking on a, on a rim on a drum and then hitting a the hi-hat instead of hitting a drum. I mean, I'm really playing wild. But it works for this sound. Uh, that's why there's, there's so many record companies interested in it. What kind of drum kit are you going to be using now? Um, Pearl. Okay, well, I mean, as far as like a setup-wise, double bass kit, some electronics, or? Yes, I, I got a... It's a pretty simplified set. I'm using like, they're all white. I'm using like three toms in the front and uh, two on the floor and then a real cool 10 inch one to the side of me and a lot of cymbals, <laughs> all different sounding cymbals. And now I'm going to incorporate the new electric drums in with my regular kit. So it's a very refined set of drums. It's not, you know, all that, a lot of shit I don't need to have. Like you look at some of these bands with four bass drums. I don't know why they have them. I mean, it looks very impressive, but they don't even play them. You know me, if I can't hit this son of a bitch, then I don't want it. <laughs> That's how I look at it. I like to hit what's around me. So I kind of got a slogan. It's called the uh, the power is back, uh, Peter Chris. <laughs> I don't know if that's ego, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. I like that too. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me if I don't talk a lot to you. I just I, I love listening to what you have to say more so than saying well, things. I got a lot to say to you. It's David, isn't it? Yes, it is. You got it. Right. I got a lot to say to you, Dave. I'm really like I said. You caught me in an incredible mood, and I'm, I was looking forward to talking to you. And uh, and I wanted to do this, and I wanted you to have my first interview over all the other magazines because you you know I'm still a kisser. <laughs> I always will be. I'm really glad to hear that. You know. Oh, definitely. I'll always be a strong fan of KISS because, like I said, I, I was with them so many years and I remember the uh, four of us playing in some funky loft on 23rd Street, New York City and just barely uh, getting cab fare. And uh, I've probably been fortunate enough to see the best years of KISS. I think so anyway. I think when I was with them in Ace, we probably got to see the, the greatest years of their lives. And I think they would admit that. But the times we spent uh, together were very, very heavy. Oh, the pictures from that time are just incredible. You know, I, I look at them, I want to cry, you know. It just, <laughs> well, I do too at times, but what upsets me is when I say I look at magazines and see all these bands, and then I see Kiss also, uh, you know, up against like Motley Crue and, and Twist and Sister and Def Leppard and all these 